Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kodai Spoto Kodaswiz, and today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to do uh, an AI battle against uh, aliens and humans in Crisis 2 Sandbox. Uh, I'm going to try to do this fast because the uh, last video I made was like 12 minutes and I just deleted that and it, it took way too long. I took way too long explaining everything so now I'm going to try to do this fast um, and just so you guys know, this is my first tutorial ever. I've never done a tutorial before, so uh, excuse me if I sound noobish or if I, you know, don't sound professional. And also, I'm not American, so my grammar is not going to be perfect. But anyways, let's start. Uh, we're going to want to open, of course, CryEngine 3 Sandbox. Uh, I'm not sure if this same method works on the CryEngine 2 uh, Sandbox because, you know, I never tried the CryEngine 2. Cry Engine 2 sandbox, but from what I saw, um, it looks pretty similar, but I'm not sure. So we're just going to open this, and uh, if you get this message, don't worry about it. So just go up go up to File and hit New. Uh, this is the, you know, like your playing area. This is where you're going to, like, the, the bigger the size you pick here, the bigger, like, the pixel size thingy, whatever, the bigger your playing area is. I'm not sure how to explain that. So we're going to name it Test 5. Because I already made test 4, test 3, and all these other test, you know, um, maps. So we're just going to hit OK. And uh, you're going to want to wait till it uh, finishes. And uh, you can check if it finishes or not by going up here and seeing if any of these buttons or any of these respawn. And, um, yeah. Or you can just wait till the pop-up menu right here comes up. So uh, this is uh, your texture dimensions. This is, uh, I believe, how good your textures are going to look. I'm not sure. I'm not a game developer, so I'm not sure, like, what this is, um, you know, exactly what this is. I've, been only pl I've only been playing with this sandbox for 30 minutes, so I'm not sure what any of these means. But the, I'm just going to pick the highest one because my computer is good enough to run it. Um, and let's hit OK. And uh, let's turn that off. And we get a big pool of water. So as you can see, very nice DX11 water. And um, if you want to enable DX11, it's uh, by default um, not enabled. So you're going to want to enable it and hit Ultra. And you have to restart the sandbox editor after you do that. But yeah, I hit it. I already enabled it before. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, you're going to want to add a new terrain, so just go up here, terrain, edit terrain, and you're going to have, you're going to get this point area, and this is your area, of, you know, where you're at. So here's your brush right here. Um, just pick brush and have the hardness to one so that you don't have any bumpy, like, you know, bumpy areas, just a flat ground. Uh, the height, we're going to gonna put it to 30. I think that's good enough, and we're going to make a little square or our our battle so I uh, just hit exit and turn around and there you go there's your little area and as you can see uh, there is no texture so we're gonna actually add a texture and we're gonna go up here and add texture and you're gonna see this layer um, you're gonna want to delete this layer yes and add a new layer. Um, you can go and proceed on with this texture right here, but I don't like this texture, it's very ugly, so I'm gonna um, click on the background and hit M, the, um, the button M on your keyboard, and we're gonna see materials, just hit the plus sign over here, uh, find terrain, there we go, terrain, and just find the terrain you want. So uh, I'm just gonna grass object I'm just gonna pick a very simple terrain so there we go dry grass very simple just hit exit and then assign material and there we go it's linked uh, to the texture so just uh, let's exit this and we're gonna wanna go to the roll up bar that should be enabled uh, by default and just hit the uh, second tab and go into where is it? Layer Painter. And uh, there's your radius. It's four, but it's way too small as you can see. But you do, you can like um, color like the boxes, not that little circle. But we're gonna want to color all of it. So 
we're just gonna hit that all the way up there and there we go so it looks pretty ugly f from up here but once you zoom in it's gonna get much better so there we go very simple uh, we're pretty much done for the terrain for uh, our battle area now we're gonna wanna focus on actually getting the AI into the you know into the, our playing field uh, so we're gonna go up here and view open view pane pane <laughs> um, and go and click on database database view so just click on that and um, hit this folder button right here and we're gonna see the cry and tops that's the cell humans um, and then this hu these humans are marines I don't like to pick the marines because they have too much health so I just pick these guys the cells and I pick the aliens uh, then you're just gonna want to close this and go up here to the roll up bar and pick the first tab and go to archetype entity so just open both of them up or one of them it doesn't really matter and uh, we're gonna start with uh, with uh, humans and I'm just gonna add a uh, normal human um, with a feline and there we go oh and I forgot to mention before you proceed uh, make sure this is enabled I'm pretty sure this is uh, enabled by default but make sure it's enabled anyways um, and then we're gonna wanna um, use this a lot too so this guy is already facing us forward so that's good we don't need to rotate him uh, so we're just gonna hit we're just gonna select him and ca uh, control C and let's delete this guy actually control C uh, I messed up <laughs> <coughs> so we're just gonna lower him down control C and then I'm gonna put him here it should um, if you don't mess around like I did I don't know what I did exactly it, you should just control C and move him over I don't know why it doesn't let me move my guy left and right only up and down first time so it should way you move him all all over the place when you control C him but I, I don't know why it didn't let me that time so just uh, select them and uh, control C all of them and there we go it works now and uh, just paste them over here control C control C just keep copying them control C control C so that looks pretty good um, now we're gonna add the and the aliens so just go up here to archetype entity back up there and we're gonna add some of the grunts the weak ones uh, so let's uh, let's put them over here so just drag it over here and there's my guy we're gonna delete him and uh, we didn't put him in the right place there we go so there we go there's my entity so we're gonna want to ro rotate him and there we go now control C there we go it works now control C we're just gonna select them all control C control C and that looks good enough uh, the grunts are a lot stronger than the uh, humans so I'm gonna add west of the grunts and the humans so that's it we're pretty much done um, and you know of course if you want to add more like the pinger or some sp stalker or you know any of the special other like you know entities or other AI units just go ahead and do that um, and also a lot of there's just one mistake that I've seen on, on videos, uh, is the game to uh, watch them fight like if I press control G they this is what they usually do and then they press E and that's how they watch them fight until their uh, energy is depleted but you don't have to do this you can just watch them from here like it's uh, for the freedom mode or it's something. <laughs>
<laughs> that, uh, humans don't even compare to the grunts. Um, humans are evaluated by the grunts, by the aliens. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is uh, my shortest like way, my shortest tutorial that I uh, could do of showing you guys this. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, peace out.